Hello, hello, everyone. Happy Monday. Let's wait till someone connects. Hello, hello. Hey, hey. Until we start, let's share where everyone is from. That's always, always interesting to hear because as Moonflare is international, ooh, Canada, hello. As Moonflare is international, it's so nice to know that people are from all over the world. Norway, hello, that's so nice. So, how are you? Jersey, wow. Hopefully, one day I will go to America. That's one of my dreams. So, Norway, Canada, wow. It's really opposite sides of the world. So, I will start to introduce the topic, today's topic. I've decided to do quick and easy salon designs. South Africa, wow! Uh, I've decided to do quick and easy salon designs as I was working with my clients and to be honest, I, <laughs> I noticed that those quick and easy designs are really useful to everyone and sometimes you have, have a hard time to decide what you want to do. So, um, and we all have these clients who are in a rush, rushing and wanting, wanting something nice but quick. So, I will start showing you what we're gonna do today. So, this is one of the designs. There's so many ways of doing it. I will show you one way and you can show me all the others. Um, so, I call it medallion way. Uh, I really like this way because you can go nuts with imagination and it's quite easy and it's quite quick and it will give you a nice spark. The other design that I have is botanical. Uh, it's with matte top coat and basically it's a splash of colors and some flowers, botanical parts. The other ones are foils, that's the theme, oh, just shine so much. It's um, foils, also there's so many ways of using them. And then we all forget stickers, stickers, uh, paint splashes, that's also a really trendy thing these days to splash the paint and I will show you such a quick way, you will see. And the last but not least, thank you Emily um, for loving these designs and last but not least is the elegant design for elegant ladies. So. We will start. I haven't prepared the tips to see from the first part. So I'll start with the same um, way. So we will start with, I will put it here. We will start with a medallion. So for this color, I will use something different. So. Let's put color on it. And I'm using neon yellow green. Who doesn't love that? And that's really nice. So, 30 seconds in a lamp. Okay, so while the color is in the lamp, I will talk about these. 
basically what you have here is in the middle you have um, a huge bubble of gel if you see it's quite not super but a little bit up so that means you can basically maybe that's better uh, you can see that you can put anything in there for this one I'm not sure how which way is better okay so for this one I've used a special gel that has no sticky layer but it's like a gel mixture with glitter it's called jumpy gel so you can search for it somewhere if you want to so we have this cracked color nail what I made in these designs, so I have the line, you can make the line, you cannot make the line, it's up to you. Um, There's so many ways of doing it. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna put on some gel. I'm gonna put some gel and I'm gonna use oh, I hope you can see so and we have oh, we have these little decorations from Moonflare you can get them from Moonflare and they have those little circles that you can use. I hope you can see that. If I'm not doing it super straight, you need to know that I'm working sideways because all the cameras are hiding the view. So I have this, I put it in the lamp for a few seconds. So, and these, as you can see, you have like loads of forms. You can use the square one, there is square one, round one, and what else do you have? Triangle also. So there's always a different way you can approach it. So now you can put uh, like, uh, let's try with the foil. So here I'm using, I like to work with gel polishes. So the most things that I use is for gel polish usage. Uh, but you can also use like a simple gel, the one that you use, any will do. So this is a base coat. So I'm prepping the inside for foil application because like in this one like in this one I just put black color underneath and I just put the foil on top and filled it with clear gel so it can make like a medallion old-fashioned bubble I guess so and I will paint the other tip for the next design quickly so if you have any questions you can always always ask I'm hoping there's no questions as I'm showing it I'm trying to show it so clear that I can this color is one of the top colors that my clients chooses nowadays because it's summer first day of the summer how awesome so quick reminder color 
circle metal decoration and I filled it with a uh, base coat and now I'm using green foil and just up ooh, just applying it in the middle don't worry if you get behind the lines you can take it off anytime you want so we have many tools we can use so we can take off the unneeded axis Okay, so what I like to do now is to fill it in. Let's make it more, more interesting. I'm just gonna grab quickly some, some glitter and I'm gonna put a bit of gel. Just take a little bit how much you need how much you feel like it how big you want to get it so I'm filling the bubble I have a self-leveling gel so when I'm finished I will open it or not open it put it upside down so I can make the medallion super perfectly rounded so I'm adding the glitter you can add glitter foils whatever you want actually it's completely up to you that's why I like medallion because you can you can choose the colors you can choose the infills you can even put the dried flowers and dried flowers were the last month's uh moon flares box content so moon flare is also selling dried flowers which is really nice fun fact for you i have never worked with dried flowers before not until i made so here we go we turn it upside down so the medallion is perfectly rounded so continuing my story I haven't worked with uh, dried flowers at all never so that was my first time fun thing so I feel it needs another color another coat of color I'm trying to do the designs as quick as I can. I don't want to hold you up too much. At least in Sweden, it's been an amazing day. And when I mean amazing, it's like 25, 26 degrees. How awesome is that? And all you nail techs know, who, who did work then? I did. I know I did. So... I'm thinking what can we put here okay I would like to put maybe let's put some caviars in I call them caviar beads but they are like metal beads uh, you can also find them at moon flare what I like about them I can tell you the difference between bad and good the good metal beads for decorations they have to be metal otherwise they will the color will rub off your nail design will look awful for the client after a couple of days and um, yeah that's a trick the, and how to check if they are metal is just use a magnet Usually, so it's quite a lot. I got my tip holder from Moonflare. 
Yes. That's my favorite. That's why I took it. I love it. So, I don't know how much you can see. So, I'm just making like a tip. So, bottom. I'm doing three, two, one. How's the weather in your country? So, it's just like quick. I don't like something is here that I don't like. Yeah, much better. So, of course, in the lamp. I'm so interested to see if you all gonna try some designs. Please, please, please tag me in. I would love to see them. That's the best way to know that people watched and people liked it. And it's like a reward for me. So that's really, really important. So. We have this. So it's a quick and easy design depends what you want to do you can use you can actually even a great tip if you have small um, boxes or jars or anything you can mix your mixes before your client comes in for example with some glitters and stuff so all you need to do is just take it and apply it especially with the metal decorations that Monfair have like you have the base you have the gel mixed up already and it's done so this is that we can move on to the next one with a bright color and the next one I'm gonna do is foils crystals everything together I don't know how it's yeah so with this one I'm using a spider gel I guess now everyone has spider gel I would assume it's one of the quick designs that you can do and um, well it's amazing foils is another thing that everyone loves so this time I'm gonna use like this one and I'm just applying it randomly remember we wanted to do it quick so that's what we have and that's fine with us so let's take the spider gel okay so the trick with spider gel that you wouldn't be super messy is that you pick it up with a brush when you can pick it up and I don't know if you can see it but you wait until the paint goes back to the brush I don't know how much you can see it but I hope you understand what I mean so pick it up the paint and wait until it comes back to your brush then it will be easier to apply it the way you want so let's try the square design I like super thin and elegant designs um, most of my clients don't have long long nails so I'm working with short nails most of the time so that's why I like to do if you think the line is too thin do it one more time it's no problem I hope that's the way you work also <laughs> and I'm not the only one so just 
put the dot and drag it put the dot and drag it if I feel the line is too thin do it again so this is that and the beauty of this design is that we're gonna play with um, matte and shiny top coats so I'll put it in a lamp for the spider gel to um, harden and we can prepare for the next one let's do botanical like this well for this you can use any colors you want the color application underneath is very simple so you just don't even need the thin brush it's like dab drag and everything so it's very easy and um, for the botanical parts if you're not so good at painting or you need more time because today we are talking about quick you can use oh, I'm just, uh, you can use stickers stickers is amazing these days you get super good quality stickers you get super good stickers so don't be shy use them but if you do have time I would rather paint them because hand painted things are so much nicer of course they won't replace stuff so back to the Ooh, as always I have paint on my tips so okay we have this so the nice trick on that for for the foil to go up and be more visible is that you use yeah. we apply matte top coat all over the design and of course that tiny piece of glitter wasn't supposed to be here but let's say it was so this is matte top coat by the way if you noticed i love matte top coat i do almost everything with it and we put it in a lamp. Let's go back to botanics. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna open my color bottles. And again, I will try to do something quick and easy, not something super difficult. So let's say with this don't even try to do something super fancy because the more messy it will be the better it will look under so this is what I did that's all with a brush no problem of course if it's by the cuticle do it by with the brush as close as you can and then finish with a finish with a thin brush and well we are quick I can tell this is matte and while I'm doing two designs you can do nails on both hands so that makes it quicker so you do one in a lamp other in a lamp and it's like quick quick so now we have this nail matte and I am taking I am taking top coat which has no sticky layer and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill the foils with shiny top coat and trust me you it's gonna be more visible than usual because the whole background will be matte but the little pieces they will be shiny 
and that's super nice. Here we go. If you wanted to put stickers, of course you needed to put it under matte top coat. Just a quick letting you know. So, botanical. I'm gonna paint my, or maybe I will Maybe add some foils. I do love foils. They are quick, easy, fun. And they're shiny. Who doesn't love shiny? So, I don't know how good you can see. Um, okay. It's very bright at my corner, I guess. Is it better? Let me know, is it better? If you can see it. <laughs> Just a quick test. Okay. I want you to see everything so good. No, I think with this one was better. Yeah. Okay, let's carry on. So, I will paint. I will paint the botanical. As I say, if you don't have time, or you don't feel like it, use stickers. It's nothing wrong with that. I start with the middle part. I start with the middle part, and then I draw a leaf at the end of it. Then I have a nice base for my flower. Yeah, that's that. And then paint as many leaves as you want. I hope you see it. I always imagine that I'm drawing little eyes and then fill them in like leaves. <laughs> I don't know if that will help you. So. This is what I came up with, and I will put it in the lamp. Mm -hmm. So, this is the result, what we have. So trust me, the, the color, it goes so bright when it's matte. And the foil, even if you have it more, um, let's say it more shiny, it will shine even more. Just, just give the client to pick. Um, if you want to save this one, I feel it needs one more coat. So, <laughs> funny thing, I have this glitter, <laughs> the blue glitter on every single tip. Nice. Okay. So, this one I will do like 
this one with splashing and it's gonna be a quick very quick thing to do this color is my favorite I love it so much so again a quick draw it doesn't have to be very you see it's quick I'm just playing with the color with a brush I don't even need a special brush or anything so and for this one I'm going to do from one of those. I'm going to take the black. So this is also, you can do how you want to and it's no, no restrictions. Again, feel like, see how much time you have, how much time you can spend on it. If you have more time, be more careful, be more detailed. If you don't have time, you can go bigger, not so thin and things like that. So just see how you feel and what time you have. So now the splashes. Secret, little secret is old brush what I'm gonna do I use my glove as a palette of course it's not maybe cleanest thing but it's quick but I will use this for this purpose so I'm taking some black paint if it's a client and I'm doing it quick I'm just dabbing into the paint direct. So that's even quicker. If you mean, uh, what kind of brush is that? The liner. If you mean this, it's just a dust brush. It's a dust brush that you can buy in any nail shops. I use it when I work with the clients on my hand so when you do manicure you just have and the dust is clean work 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 fucked the dust is clean um but also this is a perfect purpose for splash so i'm just putting the brush into the paint we have some on there and look and just dabbing it depending how much you need This splashing design, I would say, is super, 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 super fashionable in Europe, at least of what I noticed. So, and in the lamp, back to the elegance. With this one, I'm using spider gel and spider gel is easy to work so you have a thick line so you just put the dot on the line and drag it before the pink nail do you mean this one just a line brush this is the one I worked with only this one, if you mean this one. It's from the brand uh, from my country, because I'm not Swedish, I'm Lithuanian. Um, it's a brand from my country. and um, But Moonflare sells also brush kits by Selena, so you can get them also. Uh, but I can tell you the size of this one, it's uh, zero, 00. Moonflare also has... Uh, brush sets and they were created by Selena and she's she knows what she's doing so waiting for the paint to come back to the brush easiest way so I'm putting the dot in the line dragging it waiting to come back 
drag it dot drag it and that's how we make the lines waiting to come back okay dot the line dot the line actually talking dot the line dot the line hopes being synchronic I had one teacher that teach me manicure and she was like one two three one two three <laughs> it reminds me of her so the dot and the line the dot and the line so again you see how much time you have you don't have much time you can make less lines you have time you make more uh, for the purpose of saving time I won't make too much of a lines and I will put it in the lamp but you know how to do it now back to the sp splashes So the splashes, let's put, da, da, da. I love animals, so let's, okay, let's make it fun. Which one do you want to see on this nail? Do you have any preference? Like on this one, I put the tiger. Actually, on Easter, I had this bear with bunny ears. Funny. Okay. I think my comments come back slowly, so I will decide for you, I guess. Let's put a doggy. A white doggy. Okay. Orange kitty. Okay. We can have both. Because most ho households have cats and dogs together. So there's no... So. The whole animal kingdom. And I feel like I'm missing something. So... The dog yay so we have both works fine I'm just looking what to put I feel like a line would do nice when you have to don't your clients compl uh, complain that you have too much? Okay, I will just take a line. I won't take too long. And then they can't choose properly or something. Yeah, just like that. <laughs> so... Make sure when you choose your stickers, choose them properly. It's better to pay a little bit more than, than to be sorry and that they stick out. Because silicone stickers, they have to be like really, how to say it, they have to be bendable, flexible. Because if they're really stiff and hard and they're plastic, not silicone, they will bend out for your client so I think it's in everything that you need to invest more for the quality things rather than spend time fixing clients nails so yeah this is what we have 
and I put this square one. I think that's nice. Okay. Marika, sometimes too much, sometimes not enough. If you mean about the clients, I totally agree with you. I have so many colors and some of them complain you have, oh, you have so many colors. It's so hard to choose. But then in the end, it's like, but you don't have this one specific one that I want. And it's like, oh no. And if you are as hooked as me, I'm like, okay, what's the color? I need to get it. <laughs> That's that nice. Because I buy too much. So we have the lines, we have this. And I prepared a few Swarovskis. I was rushing so much, I didn't use all of them. But this is Volcano. This is light rose AV. This is light chrome. Volcano come out. Here. So we're gonna use Volcano. I feel like it goes with the color. So. I'm just gonna put some gel on my hand again and attach the stones or the stone so yes Ma Marika I feel you <laughs> I definitely feel you um, again so I have another thing to say about this design. In the sample one, I made these dots with metal caviar beads or met be metal beads. I don't know how you want to say it. This takes time to secure them. So again, if you either you can make a thicker layer and just put them inside the gel or if you have a client who works with her hands a lot, because I do have those clients, uh, what you can do, you can replace these beads with white dots. Well, white dots won't go anywhere. Nowhere. So, and again, white dots would be quicker. We have this. I buy my all Swarovskis from Moonflare. Surprise, surprise. But to be honest, it's the best place. And you know you get rewarded by your clients when they come in and say, you know what, my friend does her nails, but her crystals don't shine as much. Well, yes, because the difference is real crystals shine better. I just applied, yeah, not sticking it. <laughs> I just applied some base gel and I'm gonna apply the beads. I noticed for this design, I would recommend to use vibrant, bright colors. They are... They look nicest with a matte and with a crystal in the middle and everything, so... Yeah. But of course, surprise me. Show me what you can do, what you can come up with. As I say, it's the best reward that us girls can do, can have, not do. If we could, we <laughs> reward ourselves. So, this is what we have in the lamp. So, dun dun dun, and we will see the kitties. Dun 
Ta-dam. This is our kitties. So far, it's my favorite, I can tell. This is my favorite. Teamwork. Uh, I also noticed that uh, letters and words are really, really popular at the moment. So take that in. And you can find some fun things in that. Uh, for example, I did for my clients because it's a COVID-19 situation in the whole world and stickers like be positive, happiness, be happy, really ups the mood for my clients and for me. So this is the shiny um, result. Of course, I want matte because I love matte. So, usually when I have an idea or a color, color theme, it's really quick and easy. And I would say it was quick now, today. At least I feel like it's quick. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, another quick tip. Uh, I did a live on my Instagram also, but um, you can prep some things before your clients come. For example, uh, you can make 3D flowers. Uh, Natalie did a live on Moon Flare about 3D roses. Um, and um, it's a good thing because you can prepare the roses before your client comes and then when your client comes all you need to do is put it on a nail so uh, this is my 3d roses no not roses peonies peonies i would say it's more similar to peonies and um yes so this is what you can do, you can prepare the gels with glitters, you can, yes, depending how much efficient and how much clients do you want to take in every day. So you can prepare. Look at that. Look at that. I love how the crystal shines in matte top coat. Nothing, nothing shines better. Uh, what? What brand are you, your gel? They seem so pigmented. I use, uh, sorry, I use a lot of gels, gel polishes from different brands. I'm actually settling on one brand that I will collaborate also, uh, but you can um, ask me in private if you want to. Um, but this one is from uh, Neo Nail, just to let you know, Neo Nail's gel polishes are really pigmented, so they're really nice. Um, I've tried Light Elegance, they are pigmented, and what else? Just text me the private message and I can answer you with the brands I'm working with. So, yes, let's. Put them back to the view. I was about to say it's four. Where's the fifth? So. Okay. What I did today is a quick versions of designs 
Of course, if you invest more time and love, they can be even more amazing. But this is quickly what you can do. And imagine how much different things you can do. So, um, I would say this is my favorite. And this one. Because I love matte and crystals. Okay, um, if you have any questions, let me know. If not, you can... Thank you so much. I'm happy that you liked it. That was my goal. I was working so hard to make it happen. So, any questions? want to share look at that look at that it's amazing it's amazing it's in June's monthly box of Montclair I'm buying it just for that this is a perfect gift for your friend or nail tech okay thank you so much I hope you enjoyed I'm glad you made it. I'm glad someone watched. And you can find me as Monica Bjork. And I'll see you next time. Bye.